So Caruso is not expected to be traded. Like they shouldn't trade him, in my opinion. I we talked about it earlier. This is a team that's they're coming around. First off, Caruso is having a career year. He's shooting like 49% from the field, 41% from three, 10 points a night, dude. Oof, he's an absolute dog. He, he can score on all three levels. He's not like a facilitator or a primary playmaker or like a shot creator, but like he can do it off like transition. And like, you know, if he has a guy like Kobe White, Vooch and like DeMar DeRozan, who's creating for him, it's it's going to be good. And a good coach like Billy Donovan is going to put him in success. And this is a team that, you know, 23 and 26. So basically what they're they're saying over here, ESPN saying is that the Bulls have six days to decide if they want to hang on to them and continue being a playing team. They're ninth in the East. But that the, the whole thing is, is like, yes, they're ninth in the East. Yeah, like you can give them crap for that. But if you look at the standings, they are literally three games behind the Heat and the Magic who are, you know, still playing teams. But realistically, they're not that far away from being a team that could realistically you know, four games behind the Pacers who are the six seed. So their fortunes could change, you know, other teams' fortunes. And several playoff teams have obviously been calling all year about Caruso. And, you know, we'll have more reporting in this video about it. But the Bulls could end up trading him because two protected first round picks could end up creating this bidding war. And you kind of, you got to sell high when you can. That's all I'm going to say. Like, you got to sell high sometimes, even if you don't want to. Is untouchable. And the Bulls are turning their season around. And supposedly, it's the seemingly like the only player that the Bulls want to trade. If they were required to trade somebody, it would be Zach Levine. And Zach Levine basically said he's only shown up to work because it's, you know, those are the office hours. But the most sought after commodity on the Bulls roster is still Alex Caruso. The Sun Times has reported throughout the season that Alex Caruso is almost deemed untouchable. A source indicates that that has not changed and that if they want, I think the, the offer has to start with two first round picks. And Caruso is much more valuable to a contender than he is on the Bulls roster. He's 30 years old. Yes, he has an injury history that is longer than most people. And the Bulls are 18 months away from actually being in a playoff game. Give him caruso's price tag it's likely that he'd fetch a lot more than demar or zach levine would due to the fact that most of the league would want to trade for him similarly to how kyle kuzma is being viewed by the rest of the league as these are two players that are very versatile on good deals that the league is very interested in when you look at a guy like alex caruso Mr. Caruso, 6'5", with a nice wingspan. Obviously, fan favorite wherever he goes. One of the best defenders in the league. Dives for the loose balls. His intensity on that side of the ball is insane. And the thing is, is he knows how to guard opposing offenses, especially in the playoffs. We saw it during that Lakers run. And he's our, the definition of a low-maintenance player. You never hear Alex Caruso in the media. And he has great basketball instincts and IQ. His feel for the game is second to none. He, when he wants, he can attack to the rim. Create. He won't create his own shot, but he can score in transition. He's not the most creative guy, but he can be a playmaker secondary. And his three, like you said, he's his efficiency is just insane this year that you can't just leave him open and you got to respect him. So I think that's why, like, you have like half the league wanting to trade for him. But at this point, two firsts is nuts. Yeah, I agree with that. Two firsts is nuts.